A new feature on Facebook is raising concerns over privacy on the social network used by 400 million users. Facebook is developing tools that collects users' interests in products and then shares that information on other websites. Now lawmakers are taking Facebook to task, saying the site needs to make it easier for users to protect their privacy. For more now on all of this, we're joined by Up to the Minute technology consultant John Quain. Wow. <laughs> Again. Amazing, because I have this love-hate relationship with Facebook because I constantly feel like my information is just going everywhere. What is going on with this new thing? Right, it always makes me nervous. You know, we share musical t interests or tastes or stories on Facebook, and I think, gee, where is that going to go? Where, what will happen with it? Well, usually you have a lot of privacy settings. that They made them more complicated, deeper, harder to get to. And now they've introduced a new feature. It's, it's kind of in a prototype stage. But the basic idea is that they want to share your personal information not just within Facebook, but outside to all the websites that might have alliances with Facebook, and then share the information from those websites back into the data as well. And there are two sort of inconspicuous, it might seem innocent ways they're doing it. Okay. And one is a like button. You know, you see the Facebook share button. You'll see it on the CBS page. You'll see it on the CBS news page. You'll see it on my own website. There's, you know, if you like it or right. you want it, you want to share it, pardon me, if you want to share it on Facebook and then you have to sign in and put it up there. Now they have a like button. Right. If you click on that and you're logged into Facebook, It'll automatically post it to your Facebook wall, but also it'll show you all your friends who might have also liked that story, and vice versa. And now that site has that information and access to your Facebook information, and Facebook has information about all these websites that you may have visited. Now, what is Facebook getting out of this? Are they making money off of this? What's the upside for them? Well, the upside could be to make money off. The more you know about the users, the more targeted you can make advertising. That's always been the dream of Internet advertising. It hasn't ever really worked out that way. Okay. I mean, for various reasons, people have tried it. A lot of users don't like it. We have fake Facebook accounts. But they're trying this personalization key as well, so that the idea is when you go from Facebook to, let's say, Pandora, the music service, or Yelp, the review service, okay. it'll automatically know all my interests. It'll know, oh, JQ is in New York. He's interested in restaurants in New York. So all the Yelp reviews might pop up about Indian restaurants that I might like. Now I happen to like Indian restaurants, but maybe I don't want everybody in the world to know. Now they do, but I didn't want them on Facebook. And so all this personal information that's out there that you're not really aware of is now going to be shared among all these different sites. Okay, I would have to say I'm one of those people. I don't want all that information right. out there. So what exactly do we do to set the privacy settings? And I understand it's a lengthy process. It's complicated. So, okay, DVR this. Right. Leave it up there for a Record while. It, so go let's, to our, let's look at it. Right, okay. Well, you, you can go to your Facebook page, and then there's an account setting on the, on the top right-hand corner. You go to account. You go to the privacy settings. Then you go to the applications and websites underneath that. And then underneath that, there's something called Instant Personalization Pilot Program. That's got an edit settings. Go to the edit settings. When you're finally there, you'll see a little statement and a little checkbox. It's about allow select partners, et cetera, et cetera, to look at information uncheck that box. That's the very first thing you can do because that's what this program is all about. Okay. I mean, that's, and that's why those senators got upset because you're automatically signed in. So Schumer and Franken and some other senators sent a letter to Facebook complaining about this because they want us to be, have to opt into it rather than automatically be signed up to this because if you're not paying attention all of a sudden, it's just out there. Incredible. So Incredible. That's well, the big problem. Oh, I'll go ahead and post that on my Facebook right. page. So if you want to become my friend, you can see it. I and guess I have to put it on my Facebook you page. Do too. <laughs> <laughs> um, we really appreciate all the information. Uh, kind of complicated, but I think people can go through it and, and get it under control. And also, if they just log out of Facebook yeah. when they're not using it, that's one way to sort of restrict it. And also, complain. In past cases, when all the users sort of rioted, had a virtual riot online. Facebook withdrew some features so or changed them, so maybe that will do a trick. All right. All right. Technology consultant uh, John Coyne. John, thanks so much. Good to see you.